So in the previous video, we went over calculating vectors in two dimensions. Remember, it's called two dimensions because it's along the X and along the Y. It forms a right angle triangle where we need to use Pythagoras to find the magnitude, okay, to find the green line, yeah, essentially the magnitude of the resultant vector and tan theta or tan of the angle to find the angle. And remember, we put the angle in the corner where there's no arrowheads. If you need to go watch the previous video where I explain the steps in more detail and I do easy example number one, then click the link in the description box below. We went over these steps in a lot of detail. I explained them very, very carefully. I did an example, but the purpose of this video is to do level easy example number two. I want you to pause the screen and I want you to try it yourself if you can and then unpause it and then do it along with me. So example two, I've got I push a box with 12 Newton upwards. A friend pushes the same box at the same time to the left with a force of 10 Newton. Now, first of all, this is level easy because we give you one vector going in the up down direction and we give you one vector going in the left right direction. So you can draw your triangle, your right angle triangle immediately. Okay, that's why it's level easy. Let's do it. So I push a box with 12 Newton upwards. So upwards with 12 Newton. And then a friend pushes the same box at the same time to the left. Okay, so to the left with a force of 10 Newton. Be careful how you draw this vector. If I were to draw it like this, that's wrong. Because this is not going to the left, it's going to the right. Okay, so that's incorrect. What about if I had to draw it like this that's going to the left so 10 newton that's going to the left but what's wrong about this diagram they're touching tail to tail can't be it must be head to tail so where do i draw the 10 newton i must draw it over here okay head to tail i hope you can see it head to tail this is 10 newton so this is my y vector my overall in the y direction and this is my overall in the x direction so how do you draw your resultant or your overall net vector from the tail of the first pointing towards the head of the last so let's call this big r or you can call it f net you can call it f net because it's a force force net or r um f resultant now what people often struggle with my students often struggle with this is they say to me, okay, cool, ma'am, I've got the 12 Newton like that, and I've got the 10 Newton like that, but I drew my arrow pointing down like that. Why is that wrong? Think about what your 12 and your 10 Newton arrows are doing. 12 Newton is going up. 10 Newton is going to the left. So overall, you would be going up and to the left. You wouldn't be going down. And to the right, look at the direction that this arrow is pointing. It's wrong. It's going down and to the right. The arrowhead must be pointing up and to the left. Okay, so just think about it logically and then it should make sense. Remember the X and the Y, it's like the X and the Y axis. They meet at 90 degrees perpendicularly. So you put your 90 degree over there. And where does tan theta go again? It goes in the corner where there are no arrowheads. So that's over here. So according to our steps, we have the net vector in the x direction. We've got the net vector in the y direction. We drew our head to tail diagram. We put in our theta. We did all of that. So we did step five as well. Back to step four. Use Pythagoras to find the magnitude of the resultant vector. Use Pythagoras to find the magnitude of the resultant vector. So we're using Pythagoras to find that r basically. So we're gonna go r squared equals 12 squared plus 10 squared. We're going to put Pythagoras in brackets because that's what we're using, the Pythagore Pythagoras theorem. To find R, we square root both sides. Square root that side, square root this side. 12 squared plus 10 squared. Let's do that quickly. And rounding that off to two decimals, which I am allowed to do because it is a final answer. It's my magnitude. I get 15,62 Newton. Remember, Always think back to what the question is asking you for. It's asking you for the resultant force, which means you need the magnitude, which we always get using Pythagoras in these types of questions, which we just did. So the magnitude is done. 
That's the final answer. 15,62 Newton. Done. But because force is a vector, we can't just have a magnitude. We must have a direction as well. And to get the direction, I need to use tan theta. So we've done half of the question, basically. So we've got the magnitude. Done. Now, how do I get the direction? Remember, that is now step six. Use tan theta to work out the angle. Let's do it. So, tan theta. And the question is, ma'am, will we always use tan theta? I recommend you always use tan theta because look at where theta is. It's always in the corner without arrowheads. Tan uses opposite, which is your, your x, and adjacent, which is your y. Okay. We have those two. Yes, you also have the hypotenuse now, which means in theory you could use cos and you could use sine. But what if you made a mistake by getting the hypotenuse? What if you did the maths wrong? What if you round it off? So rather just use tan theta as a rule. Okay, so tan theta equals opposite. What is opposite theta? 10 over what's adjacent to theta, next to theta? 12. How do we find theta? Remember, in the previous example, we said if we find an angle, we shift. Shift tan 10 over 12. And we get, or what I get is theta is 39,8055 dot 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 dot. We can round that off. So I'm going to round it off to two decimals. Remember, it must be at least two. 39,81 degrees. That's not your final answer, because remember, you can't just tell me it's 39,81 degrees. That doesn't mean anything. 39,81 degrees, which way? From where to where to? So you have to tell me the exact direction. And like we did in the previous video, there are two ways that you can do this for me. You can either tell me relative to the positive x-axis, or you can tell me according to the compass points. If you need help with determining the direction of a vector, I have a video on that, but let's just do it here quickly. So if I draw the Cartesian plane, and let's also put the um, compass directions on it, it's north, east, south, west. Now, in which quadrants does my vector go, my r, my resultant, my net vector? First of all, which way is that vector pointing? It's pointing up and to the left. It's not pointing down. So it won't be in these two quadrants over here. It's not pointing down. If it was pointing down, it would be in one of those. It's pointing up. It's pointing up and to the left. It's not pointing to the right. So it won't be in this quadrant. It'll be in this one over here. Where will theta go? Look at where it is compared to the line. So at the moment, I have the, the yellow line. Theta is above the line over here. It's over here. So your two ways of stating the direction here is... I'm going to do it according to the compass points first. So let's do our final answer. It's going to draw it over there. Our final answer is F net is 15,62 newtons. That's the magnitude. That's the size. That's the amount. Okay, so magnitude first that we got using Pythagoras. Then the direction. You use your angle, 39,81 degrees. And now which way are we going? Here we go. We are going this way. It's going to the west of north so west of north not north of west if you struggle with figuring out which way you must set you need to go watch my directions video the other way we can give direction is we can go relative to the positive x-axis this is the positive x-axis so we can either go clockwise we can either go that way i'm going to go anti-clockwise because it's, it's easier so you need to think about which way a clock ticks, you know, which way the arms move. Going this way, so from the green line, that's the positive x-axis, to my vector. What is that angle over there? Well, this is 90, okay, 90 plus 39,81. 90 plus 39,81, that is 129. 81 degrees okay so that's my that's my my new angle if i'm using relative to the positive x-axis so your second answer would be f net is 15 comma 62 newtons again the magnitude is the same no matter which way you quote the direction the magnitude comes from pythagoras so f net is 15 comma 62 newtons 129 comma 81 degrees anti-clockwise 
relative to the positive x-axis relative to the positive x-axis to the positive x-axis that just means that you start at the positive x-axis and you move either clockwise or anti-clockwise until you get to your vector and that's it so what did i do i started at the positive x-axis remember this over here is the x-axis this green part is the positive x-axis then to get to my r my resultant vector i went anti-clockwise this way is anti-clockwise and i went not 90 degrees i went that little bit extra which is 90 plus my theta 39,81 i went 129,81 degrees anti-clockwise you can go clockwise as well the angle will be different you'll have to add 90 plus another 90 plus this angle over here it just depends on you and your personal preference just please remember here are some teacher tips you have to if they are asking for net force that's a vector net force is a vector you have to give magnitude and direction so a lot of students like in this example what they'll do for me is they'll just do the magnitude part so they draw the diagram which is good they do pythagoras which is good and then they stop they don't do tan theta and they don't do this last part over here you won't get all your marks because like i said net force is a vector you need a magnitude so you need to do pythagoras and you need direction so you need to do tan theta however if they are just asking for magnitude so if they say calculate the magnitude of the net force look at the difference in questions calculate the net force then you must do both if they say calculate the magnitude of the net force then you just have to do pythagoras to get the magnitude in the next video we're going to do a slightly more challenging example so i'll see you then